Hi, everybody. Welcome to Choice Change in Action podcast. You're with me, your host, Simone Millicis, and I'm choosing something a little bit different this week. So please enjoy. I did this Zoom um, for a lot of people in America, South Americas, who had what they had together was a whole bunch of people at their place, etc. And they were swapping body processes. And body processes is an element of access consciousness that we have. We have, you know, the processing, we have these tools, we have, you know, asking questions, basically being able to change any area of your life that you think is not working for you. And we also have bars, which is amazing. I get my bars run at least twice a week. Uh, it's 32 different points on your head. When, when you're touching those, you know, points on your head, it starts to delete all of the crap basically it's like getting into a computer and just going delete 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 and so that you have this space you have this like this canvas this blank canvas so that you can choose from infinite possibilities and this infinite space rather than the conclusions that you've been functioning from there is so much more available and what we also have is body processes and body processes oof there were so many of them we have fabulous three-day body class. We also have advanced body class, which is one of the classes I'm off to Mexico City to do very, very soon. And so what we did with this is it was a conversation mainly between myself and Sarah Grandinetti. And there was a few people who had some questions in these, uh, these groups that were gathered together. And it was just a really fabulous, vulnerable conversation about bodies. So two reasons I wanted to share that with you. And I thought this is a really great way to do that. And the second is I've just been facilitating a business done different class, which was amazing. It was so great. And I'm just about to start joy business facilitator training. So this was an easy way out for me to not having to record a podcast this week, because sometimes, you know what, you've got a lot in life that comes your way. And my question to you is, what do you choose with that? Do you start to get anxious or, you know, start to be like, oh, I've got to do so much, so much, so much. And, and this energy of like um, chaotic rather than what if you could be an energy of relaxation and look at, OK, what else is available? And like I said, this conversation is great. I really hope you enjoy it. You and your bodies enjoy it and that you receive something from it. So it ended up being, I think, ease, joy and glory for us all. So enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have the prerequisites, I would love to see you in Mexico City at the Advanced Body Class. Okay. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. And thanks for thanks for choosing the body that you chose. What if you could take a moment and, and just acknowledge that? Just be like, wow, how did I get so lucky to be me? And how did I get so lucky to have this body? All right. Enjoy your day wherever you are in the world. Thank you. And enjoy this podcast. Welcome to the Choice, Change and Action podcast, where you get to choose, change and take action to create a different today and a different future. Welcome everybody to the Beyond Personalities, as I think our title, Trade, Beyond Personalities with Bodies. Really? Um, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> or are you just making that stuff up? <laughs> Girl, I get on, I get on all my Zoom, and I'm like, "What's what's the name of this thing?" I don't know. Yeah, me too. Well, I just did that to you. I was like, "Is there?" I know I knew bodies. I had that tick, but I was like, "Is there a topic? Is there a thing? Whatever." But it's like, but the one thing we know about me is I'm not short of a word. Yeah, <laughs> and like I said, I love that about you. And we'll just we'll just rock and roll. Um, but we'll remind everybody before we rock and roll that your questions are encouraged and invited and we would love to hear from you. Um, and even if you have like a celebration miracle story with the body process, we would also totally love to hear that and celebrate with you. Um, but I will kick it off. So Miss Simone. Yes. Do your bodies have personalities? Good question. I would say no, bodies do not have personalities. It's like we're the ones that choose personalities. Bodies are so smart and they're so patient and they're so, um, I'm not even going to say they're forgiving because they don't even have a point of view to actually forgive. They're like, if I look at the years of what I've put my body through, <laughs> especially in my twenties, oof, nasty, 
you know, and I'm like, my body's still here. I mean, can we just talk about the liver as an example? The liver is phenomenal. The liver is, is the only organ that regenerates. And I'm telling you, I have tested my liver over the years, like, and it just keeps like regenerating and being friggin' amazing. So I have definitely put my body through the test. Um, so I would say, no, our bodies don't actually have a personality. Our bodies are this like infinite, amazing, um, you know, like just incredibly um, malleable, always changing, like literally our bodies are changing every nanosecond. We have trillions of cells and the cells don't stay the same. The cells change and they also change according to, guess what, breaking news upon our request. It's like how many of you like judge your body so then you go, oh, I don't know, typically I've got a fat ass, I've got a fat ass, I've got a fat ass. Do you wake up in the morning and your ass goes, oh, no, I became like this tight little whoop. No, it doesn't work like that. It's like when you're judging your body, you're going to create more of what you are judging. It's like rather than, oh my goodness, body, how do we get so lucky to be with each other today? And what grand and glorious adventures can we have? Like, and one of the things I have noticed though, Sarah, is as I have looked at, you know, personalities and the different energies that I, um, would receive okay let's talk about this because if you have an energy that comes up that you you receive this and then it creates a vibration in your body so your body will create this vibration so if you go oh i'm really anxious about this or i'm really you know annoyed or frustrated or something like that your body creates this vibration right so then the vibration through that vibration, you start to create this personality in order to deal with something or order to handle something. And in truth, we no longer need to choose that. It's like we can literally ask the question, is this personality or being, right? And from the being, what I notice is for me, there is such a sense of peace. And one of the things, as I've chosen more space of relaxation with everything that I choose, uh, and I notice when I don't, that's the thing. Like I notice when I don't, cause it, it's like my body goes and it's like the molecules are really like tight and the organs start to, you know, like be squeezed sort of thing. And then I go, okay, if I was so even notice when I'm talking about it, you're like, Ooh. And when I ask, okay, if I was choosing this from a space of relaxation, you know, what beyond this could I be choosing, et cetera, like asking all these different questions. I notice it's like this, And there's this space between the molecules. There's a relaxation in my body and my organs get to relax and they get to do what they're meant to do. And they're not pushed. They're not pushed or forced into something from the conflict that we seem to choose from because bodies really do desire to work with us. They're not looking to work against us. And when you go, oh, my body can't do this. It's not your body's fault. <laughs> it's like, you know, are you asking a question? Are you in question of if your body would actually like to choose that in that very moment? You know, sometimes your body gives you a very great awareness of what it does not desire. It's like, no, no, we'd actually desire to be on our own or we'd like to go for a walk or we would like to go to sleep now, you know, all of these different things. So if you're being in question with your body, you're going to have so much more, so much more communion and so much more awareness and you get to function without the personalities. Yeah. I've noticed recently, like since asking personality being for everything, like how much, how much, how many personalities I created in order to force my body to do the things that I wanted. And so as those started to like melt away, the choices that have been available for me and my body have been like, here's one. Okay. So I created a whole personality around like walking. <laughs> like I'm like, I don't walk. I like try to pick the best parking place, which means no walking to it. Like if you're the closest to the front of the store, that's the best one, right? You win. Right. I like, and I, and that would have never clued into me that it was like from the avoidance of walking. It was just like winning at the, in the parking lot. I know you guys all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. No, so, do you know, actually though, there is a, there is a running joke. Like you'll hear comedians every now and then talk about Americans doing that, that okay. Americans would just drive. I'd be like, it's down the street. We'll, we'll drive. We'll just yeah. drive. 
So then my question too is, is like, who, is that even yours? Like, who does it belong to? Like, you're not asking your body and then you're like, everybody else is doing it. Everybody else drives like, oh, three houses down. I'll drive. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you're not a person that I would go, oh, Sarah never likes to move her body. You know, <laughs> you like to move your body, but you must get the best parking spot. I love it. <laughs> yeah, but as that as that has like started to melt for me there's so many places where i'm like oh my gosh i go to so much force before that when it's not there and from the relaxation like i'm just saying that the personalities of force even to create you know like when there's like a class and there's not a lot of registrations i'm like Meh. you know like i don't have the same like like must get it done must you know and my body's relaxed into that as well. So can you talk a little bit about like bodies and creation? Cause I love what you said that when you, your body now can show you, because I get that you've changed the relaxation molecules, if you will, that your body can be like, Hey boo. <laughs> I don't yeah. know if your, your body calls you boo, but mine does. Um, <laughs> it's like, Hey, you're doing the thing, you know, and that now, now there's that awareness of uh, that you can perceive rather than when it was on autopilot. So I just thought you could talk a little bit about that. Well, and, and let's be clear. I'm not saying, Hey, I'm Simone Millicent and I've got relaxation down pat. I never do anything about relaxation. That's actually not what I'm advocating. I, I give it my best fucking shot every time I can, but my body doesn't call me boo. But my body does have an energy that's like, oi, 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 oi. Maybe it's in Australia. It's like, oi, he hello, hello. And I'm like, oh, okay, stop. Like, I'll give you an example that today, right? I've got a bunch of things on. It's not too full on, but it's a bit back to back. And I start business done different tomorrow, my early morning, like my 7 a.m., which means I get up at like 5 30, 6 o'clock. And I had a a date with someone tonight who I thoroughly enjoy. I enjoy his company so much and I haven't seen him in a while and I friggin' adore him. And I woke up this morning and I went, I get this as a no, like, you know, and I would never have done that before gone. If I could go and spend time with this beautiful man and have, you know, play time and all of that, I would have gone, yes, must do that. And I pinged him this morning and I was like, Hey, you know, and sort of, spoke about this and and he's just come back from overseas as well and he was like he said god my body just started to relax and I went I know so did mine and it was so interesting because so we chose not to meet up later today right like to meet up tonight and my body is so relaxed I know his body is relaxed and also we commented about two hours later that I went god I have so much gratitude for you like gratitude for this person and I know and he's the same he's like yeah the gratitude I have for you and for us choosing this like not of, I have to see this person because I would have made sex. That thing that you, if, if sex is available, then you must have sex. Why? Because what person, how many personalities do you create around sex? Like then if you're having sex, then what you're valuable, then you're blah, blah, blah. Like all these insane points of view that you have rather than, you know, I'm probably going to come home and do my nails and make muffins <laughs> and go to bed early, you know? um whatever it's like but I can perceive that hey boo energy that my my body was going hey 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 you've got a little bit too much on your plate today for starting class tomorrow you know like this hey and then as soon as I chose that relaxation entered into my body mm -hmm. and I'm probably going to go spend time in my backyard in my front yard because I built a food forest yesterday Sarah that was one of the most pleasurable days I've ever had in my whole entire life was planting this food forest with my amazing gardeners yesterday. And I would like to go, I just ran down there before I came on here and I'm going to go spend some time in there and make sure like order all the plants and I've named some of them and have this communion with the earth. And for me, I mean, it's, it's a bit cold here, but it's also nice weather. Like go sit in my backyard and sit in my backyard and just have a moment with the earth and my body. And for me, you know, that is following the energy rather than before I would have gone, oh, you know, sex is on the table. I should be choosing that. No, it's all on the table. Choose what's actually working for you. I love it. Will we have some pictures? I just mentioned earth and then I mentioned sex, Vivi. Which one did you want pictures for? <laughs> Vivi, don't answer that. Let her get creative. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm pretty, look, I took a billion videos yesterday and pictures and I did actually put some up on my Facebook, my personal Facebook today. And I know my amazing social media team is going to um, do a whole bunch of things because I was like, God, I really would like to honor this. And and because anyone can build a food forest. It's, you don't, I mean, even there's a video on there about how to plant a pineapple. And it's like, I have so many pineapples currently planted in my backyard. And as we were planting, though, it was really funny. I went, is it bad that every time we're planting something, I'm thinking of cocktails? Because I was like, ooh, Tahitian lime, ooh, oranges, ooh, finger limes in vodka. That's good. Ooh, like pineapple. I could do that. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, that's what my body was showing me. Yes, food forest. That is what she's saying. I am saying food forest. Is that my Aussie accent? A food forest. I have banana trees, papayas, figs um apples oranges lemons limes uh a whole lot of papayas pineapples lots of different things in my backyard now in my front yard wow yeah coconut trees we have two coconut trees right and we did this little um okay so they're huge and as we planted them and they can't they because the running joke with my gardeners is all of my plants are called hey buddy or this guy I go, hey, this guy over here. And they call them by their proper names. And I go, that guy. And so, or buddy, you know, hey, buddy. And, but some of them, every now and then get a name. And um, the olive tree got Ollie. And then the two big coconut trees, one's called Coco Magic and one's called Coco Miracle. And oh my God, you should see them. They're amazing. They're going to be like the, the um, Awa tree sort of thing of my, my front yard. It's amazing. It makes my body so happy and so my body choosing to go down there this afternoon is like that's what's bringing my body joy like what's bringing your body joy not what you think you have to choose because what you think you have to choose is your personality mm -hmm. like if you're being you with your body what is it that's going to bring your body joy I mean for me I do like I love cooking I love baking I love doing all of that so that actually brings me joy too and Simone, can you start, can you share a little bit about when you started to prioritize the joy for your body in your life? Because I think there's a lot of things where like, I know for me years ago, I realized I love to go dancing. Like mm -hmm. if you and I dance together, I love to dance. Yeah. I was only doing it when it was someone's birthday or there's a friend in town or, you know, and I, I remember coming home one night, like waking my husband up at 3 a.m. because it was totally his fault that I wasn't dancing, by the way. <laughs> So, of course, I, the man. <laughs> I said hello wake up and I was like I just want to let you know I'm going dancing at least once a week and he was like okay <laughs> <laughs> and it's 3 a.m in the morning okay yeah. all right all right honey but I started to prioritize that and I, and I haven't done it in a while um I found other things that I enjoy but um it changed so much because I, I was like, no, this is, this is happening. This isn't a, if I find time. So I'm wondering if you could talk a little bit about that and kind of where someone would start even engaging that choice. Well, can I just acknowledge, I also like the way you made that like demand of yourself and that request, but you also didn't make it this thing that it's a necessity. Like I like you, you, you can perceive the energy of you made this as a request, but it's changed. So you found other things that you enjoy. And I think that's the key element too. It's like, it's, it's making that demand that you demand of yourself, right? Cause you can't demand of anyone else. And please don't demand of your body requests of the universe of your body and ask, okay, so what would be fun and what would, would be joyful. And if you, for me, access consciousness tools, the way the brilliance of them, the way they work is if you have an awareness of something, you can choose to change it. But if you're not aware of it, you can't change it. So if you look at that with Sarah and somewhere in her world, she would like to go dancing, you know, at least once a week, but then she doesn't choose it. And then also somewhere she's going, well, it's my, my family's fault, my husband's fault, blah, blah, blah. So then she starts to create this separation with her and her husband because she's not dancing. You know, it's, it's, this is the insane way we choose to live and the personalities that we create rather than going you know what, it's no one's fault that I'm not dancing except for mine. I mean, heck, I could put a song on and dance in the kitchen while I'm, you know, cooking. I often quite do that is put music on and dance on my own, you know. Um, so, and do that. And if you acknowledge what it is, then you can choose to change it. So, um, I mean, I know for my body with movement, so many different forms of movement I like. And 
for me, it's not about sticking to one movement. There is some things like say martial arts is something that I, I do on a regular basis and I really like it, different forms of martial arts just in training. But other than that, like I might run every day for or a few days a week for two months and then I don't run for six months because I'm in question and asking my body. But I would say you asked me the moments that my body sort of, I started to be more in communion. And as soon as you asked me that, I could, two things came up. And one was um, when I stopped taking drugs, which is a really long time ago. Like when I first started Access Consciousness, I was, I was taking my fair share of drugs. Like I was, you know, thinking that that's what I had to take in order to have a good time and in order to blah, 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 whatever reason and justification I had. And it was my first, uh, well, my first choice for possibilities at that time, it was called level two and three that I stopped taking drugs. And I noticed that I thought I would be bored if I stopped taking drugs. And I noticed that there was a different possibility with my body. And I remember it was almost like, like, hi, <laughs> I'm Simone. Hi, this is your body. Like, you know, let's find out what this is like. Because the second I ever felt down or had anything different going on, I would just, I would take drugs mm -hmm. because that, that just changed the energy for me. And so realizing that I could change the energy with my body by being really present was a really different um, way to be and a different tool and, and quite vulnerable, to be honest, like to start to choose that. So that's the first time I can recall that and then I have had over the years oh have I had my fair share of injuries from you know different movement with my body and and Gary having the most patience in the world talking to me about you know different awarenesses that um you know having with my body and including I you know last year I know I've spoken to you about this but the um ending up in hospital because I couldn't walk and that was so cool. I was so grateful. I was in so much pain, but I got a CT scan and I got to learn more about my body and I got to be more in question with what I was choosing. And I, I love, I love like having more information about how bodies work, how my body works. And, you know, just because maybe Sarah, your body, you know, functions in a certain way, it doesn't mean mine's going to, but I'll listen to the whispers and be like, Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? And something I've been looking at recently is aging because I used to judge the size and shape of my body. And, and then when I made a really concerted effort not to do that, my shape and size started changing and like, oh, miracle, you know, stop judging it. Something might change. Just hint, hint there. <laughs> um, and then I started judging aging and I went, you can't do this, Simone. You can't like pass one judgment for the next one. What if there was no judgment? And and I started looking at that and I'm 54 now and only just recently have I been really okay with saying that out loud. Mm -hmm. And I realized that there was some way that I had was judging getting older. And I was like, well, what if I was like so grateful that I was 54 and I was grateful for this body and grateful for what I'm capable of, but also not, trying to be younger or do something younger because I'm not I, I wouldn't want to be in my 20s again for anything by the way but or my 30s even um but age as this body and I choose to to create greater each and every day um and I told I told my personal trainer the other day how old I was he didn't know and he was like he went are you kidding me I was like no and he was like Simone he went you're amazing with what you do like and how you work out and everything and it's not I just really enjoy I'm really enjoying my body and I'm enjoying that I'm 54 I'm okay that I'm 54 it's like I also recently I'm almost like want to announce it to the world because if you're judging your age you're judging your size your shape what are you creating with that you know let's let's choose something different let's choose to be really honoring of our bodies and grateful for our bodies and and heal and change not fix there is nothing in your body that needs to be fixed absolutely nothing and the thing i love about the body process is is it it, it shows you an energy that you now have as you run the body processes and as you receive them it shows you an energy that you now have and that you 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 don't get to lose that you get to be that 
And that is such a different element. And I don't think... Phone. I don't think that Sorry, we... Keep talking. I have a kid. Keep talking. Uh, I don't think we've even started to discover what is possible with our humanoid bodies. I think we're just like, we're like the tip of the iceberg. So for me, like these, I mean, I can see people running body, body processes now and it's so freaking beautiful. And then, you know, we have the advanced body class coming up in, in Mexico that I'm coming to. I'm very excited. Obviously I'm coming to, I'm facilitating it. <laughs> and, but it, it, and that becomes even more like, it's this like, you know, you're reaching and leaning into this greatness and this more like, let's go, let's go. And we get to be that together. I'm just, it's my thrilled face. <laughs> I like it. And I, and I love the, the simplicity of asking to be out of judgment of your body. I know that for a lot of us, that just feels like a beyond that you could get there. Um, <clears throat> like with, for me, I, I've wanted to change things over the years and recently, even with my body, but there's been like such a stop and go because it's like, I was fueling it through judgment or what, what I should be doing or how, and, and even if I started out with like, oh, this would, this, this is light and I'm going to choose it. I would find a way to judge it along the way. So I would make it about the scale, make it about how my clothes fit, make it about so that I could measure. And a lot of our measurements mm -hmm. are judgments, judgment yeah. light. Um, and so like this time with the movement that I'm choosing, it's like, I'm truly asking to just be in the movement and the communion and then joy that my body's receiving rather than now let's go see if that movement created a result, you know? And so um, what movement you're choosing currently. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, with my whole walking personality, I can, <laughs> <laughs> it's big, it's big. Um, I've been walking like about an hour a day, every day, like around, I, I live in this beautiful neighborhood in the Hills in California. Yeah. It's so gorgeous. And I like never see it because I don't, I drive everywhere, Simone. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, That's I've just awesome. been doing that. And then today my friends took me to the gym. I did gym today, but right. not from how I've like, I didn't have the target of what I needed to get done at the gym to create the thing. You know, I was like, I went to the gym today, you know, like a little kid, yay. Um, but just choosing, choosing differently. And I'm playing with keto again, but fr from the, the request of my body showing me, hey, let's let's play rather than what I should do because there was a result in some other time. So it's just been interesting and and you know finally get I don't want to say finally because even that has a judgment energy, but like getting to the space for myself to not have to do it from judgment or from what the projections are or the expectation or even the aging thing. Um, yeah. So but I think that's, um, I, I think that's really important on what you said. And I also want to reiterate too, it's not like I'm hundred percent out of judgment of my body, but I stop judging my body every day, all day. That's what I'm proud of. You know, yeah. it's like there's still moments that come up where I would judge the fuck out of my body, but I'll, I'll, I'll nip it in the butt quicker <laughs> and, and be like, Hey, and I will choose I know choosing gratitude from my body works better because I'm I've done choosing from conflict and choosing from conflict with your body is is not fun so when I do do that now it's sort of like this really big red flag and you're like oh you know and and having that and I think that's I think as you were talking right so you saying walking which is funny because I walk so much I've always walked and I walk bare feet a lot because we've got the beach across the road and everything and so that's a very natural thing to me is to walk all the time. Like I'll walk to the village or walk, you know. So I think that's beautiful that you're choosing that. And uh, and also with the gym, it's like I'm, I'll go to the gym. I would generally probably go for like 30 minutes, but I might go for 50 minutes or I might even go for 10. I'm not afraid to walk out of the gym after 10 minutes if my body is done. It's like, and also if you're going to a gym, find a gym that's that's fun. My, my gym is everyone has each other's backs. It's not this like thing of you know I mean when I'm working out I don't even notice people in the gym because I'm I'm there with me and my body but find something that's a really like it's a it's got good stuff it's got fun stuff to play with in there there's some amazing gyms out there with really cool equipment that you can have you know fun with your body and then and you're saying like you know choosing 
to explore keto again too from the request. But for me, those things that you just mentioned, it's not about the rightness of them. I know you're not choosing them from the rightness. You're choosing them from, as you say, request. For me, everything with your body is about this like, boom, one step. Okay. Okay. One step. And then, and then maybe, maybe your body goes, hmm, we don't want to walk anymore. We want to skip or we want to run or we actually don't want to walk today. So you pivot and every choice you make, it, it allows you to look at, at you and your body and what you're choosing from a different perspective. And if you don't make it right or wrong, as you choose, you'll have another perspective show up and another perspective show up and another perspective, which all of these are possibilities. So for me, that's the adventure of actually having a body. And you're like, oh, next, oh, next, oh, next, you know, and what's that? And what's that? And what's that? And what's that? And you get to explore these things. Like I literally asked what movement Sarah was choosing because a lot of the times when somebody talks about something, my body will go, can we do that? You know, like has that energy? I'm like, sure, you know, or it's like, that's not for us today or whatever it is, you know. So I will always ask other people questions about what they're playing with. What are they choosing? Like what's, what's bringing them and their body joy? Well, something that you just painted so brilliantly was like the prior, when I was using judgment, it would have to go to a structure. Like this is the regiment that you must, and you must count these calories and you must take, you know, like these things and do it this way. And, and I, all, that's always tapping into what other bodies, how other bodies create, not what actually creates for me in my body. And then when you were like, and what's this and what's this, and they can shoot to this, that's a system. That's like the play of hey what's the awareness today what questions are we asking today and and yeah and what's been so interesting is before if i was like i'm gonna walk every day like i'll do it for three days and i'll be like i'm bored walking but i should yeah. walk <laughs> and, then, and then i'll avoid walking just to prove that i can choose not to walk and then i stop walking even though it might have created the next day and so i've been like in such a different space of oh yeah i didn't go today like it's not you know, the worst thing ever. What movement can I choose today, body? What would you like to choose? And like, I'm, I'm just, I've been, I'm really excited for your class. I'm super excited to get to be a three-day body facilitator and facilitate these body process classes. Um, and my space with my body, I know has changed so much mm -hmm. because of that. And I'm like overwhelmed with gratitude right now. Just getting to talk to you about this stuff right now. Now, so. me too. I know I get really excited, but I, I actually, I, was, I, I mean, I always love talking to you, Sarah. We, we can just go and, and I get our bodies are really grateful and really enthused too. And again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Like if we all keep moving forward and any judgment that you notice, you're like, wait, okay, I'm not choosing that. You know, is this personality or being with my body and choose to be with your body? Where can we go to next? It's like, truly, where can we go to next? That's, that's what I'm very enthused about. Profit is how much living you can create when you are willing to create a bigger life. Please join my latest and very low cost membership with me, Simone Millicis at The Profit Club. SimoneMillicis.com forward slash Profit Club. I'm going to shout it out to the, the rooms, guys. Do you have, any of you want to, I'm hugging, I'm hugging the Simone a little bit. Does anybody <laughs> out there want to talk to Simone or ask a question? Betsy, did you have one? I love putting people on the spot. <laughs> I'm just loving this conversation. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, we have, I have a question. Oh, yep. Uh, we're in San Francisco. The room has a question. Liddy has a question here. Hi. Hi Hello. Hello, San Francisco. Hand. Hi, it's Glenna here. Hi. Hello, Glenna. <laughs> Oh, that was cool. Hi, it's Glenna here. And she like pops up like a <laughs> magic trick. The, the camera in my computer and not the same spot. So, can yeah, you guys yeah. come closer to the mic though so the translators can hear you pretty please? Can you, is, that, is that close enough? Or is that is that close enough? <laughs> shout, girl, shout. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can hear, but can the translators hear? I mean, it's, it's not, a, yeah, they, okay. We got a thumbs up from a translator. You're good to go. Okay. <laughs> oh, now you're now you're fucking with the translators. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a question about. Um, well, maybe like a few questions. Like uh, one is about working out 
with relaxation because um some and like um because i go running and stuff and then sometimes my body is like there's like i think i heard someone talking to dane about it recently like there's like an elegance sometimes when you're in a certain energy it's like it seems like so much force to do running or like working out but it's like can you have that relaxation when you're doing like push-ups and like absolutely and, like, you can have relaxation in every area of your life mm -hmm. and for me it's like you got to practice though it's it's like that so as you're doing a push-up it's like okay so what i personally notice and you may notice something entirely different so if you're doing a push-up and you're yeah. doing a push-up because you have to or because you've decided you have to do a push-up and it's all this da 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 and it has got that force energy yeah. do that and then stop and then do a push up from relaxation. And the thing that I notice is my awareness goes and it goes way out. So that I'm not, it's not just this force energy I have with my body, it's this right. contribution that I can receive from the entirety of the universe. And I have no idea what that exactly what that is. Maybe I'm receiving energy from everybody who's ever done a push up or whatever. I don't know. It's like, <laughs> but I notice it just goes. So. The, the thing also, um, Gary gave me this tool and this might help is he said to me, every time you go to, this is so much fun, you need to stop, right? Um, with whatever movement I was doing. And I got a little cranky at him because I was like, well, then I, you know, cause he kept talking, running was one of the things. And then some stuff I was doing in Pilates mm -hmm. and I got annoyed and then I looked at it and I started asking questions why is he asking me to stop as soon as I go to this is so much fun and I realized as soon as I go this is so much fun I've come out of question oh okay so do like being questioned the whole time like you know when I hurt my back and then I, I really wanted to go hiking and I started going hiking and this hike that's really close obviously you've got to go and come back right mm -hmm. so I'm like body can you tell me when to turn around mm -hmm. and I could literally hear my body it wasn't going, hey, boo, but it was going, hey, oi. Um, it's like, turn around now. And I was like, really? now? And I and I noticed this energy where I would, would usually go, well, no, we can go a little bit further. And I would push it, which is choosing from conflict and thinking that that was better. That was a, the better choice. And I practiced going, okay, you said turn around now. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm choosing to turn around. And I would turn around. And by the time I came home, I could so perceive my, my body was like, see, we're done. And I was mm -hmm. like, whoa, you know, it was really yeah. cool to perceive it. So, but you've got to give up control of your body. How many of you are yeah. willing to give up control of your body? Mm -hmm. What would happen if you're out of control, out of definition, out of form, structure, significance, out of linearities, out of concentricities and out of limitations with your body and everything If that is times a godzillion where you destroy and uncreate it. Right and wrong, good and bad, pock and pottle nine, shorts, boys, pro and beyonds. And again, it's not like I've got this right. I don't. I fuck up a lot. Okay. But the thing is, I have the tools and I keep using the tools. And as I use the tools, I notice what changes. And I notice there's more of a a beauty and an elegance um energy available that is beyond this reality. And I'm I'm shooting for that. Cool. No. Well, and the other thing that I, I do is like kind of the same thing. I'll be running and it's like, I would notice, I don't know if it's my brain reaching for a chemical release in my body, but sometimes there is that like, you know, the, or the, like, if you push yourself to a certain limit, you have like this, like you hit something, something in your brain or, or, or something. Is that, is that from contraction also? Like, or is that like. You know, I can't answer that. You know, you know, you know, Liddy, because we, you'll know when you're choosing that. Because, I mean, I, I would do, so when I'm boxing, like and any martial arts, ah, oh, time is not even there. I'm just like in it. And yeah. I will, I will, I will like push myself to this extent. And I so enjoy it. It's just got this, you know, but I, I've learned to go like there's and there's moments that I'll be, you know, boxing or doing something. And then I go, okay. I'm done. I'm like, basta, finito to my, my trainer. And, but I'll call that. Whereas previously I wouldn't have called it, but there's an energy of where it's just like, which yeah. may be like that endorphin energy you have when you're running. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know, you know, when you're choosing from conflict and you know, when yeah. you're choosing from, Whoa, this is amazing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's more. Yeah. Okay. More you have to, you have to practice that. What do you know? Yeah.
Because you know what? We've chosen from conflict with our bodies the majority of our lives. You know, we didn't when we were little, little, right? And then we started going, oh, now I must choose from conflict. For me, like I said before, what if we chose beyond that? Like I'm, you know, I'm in, let's go. What if we have no idea what this is like to choose from this beautiful, amazing communion we can have and be with our bodies? There's so much that's possible. So much. We don't have to buy this reality's point of view. We don't have to find the best parking spot. We can walk. I actually park far away as I can because I like to walk. <laughs> and so my friend does that too. It's like, ooh, if we park far, then we get to walk longer. <laughs> Erin like might be doing that now soon too. What do they call it? Accidental fitness. <laughs> yeah. Is that a thing? What? Yeah, it's a good name, accidental fitness, accidental health, yeah. So you like the, park the furthest away at the supermarket, so it's called accidental health. It feels yeah. good. It's like, yeah, yeah, I do it now, but I was so into, like, winning. Hello. I had to win. Well, there is something that's, that's nice when you get that car park that you call gold, and you're like, nailed it. But then, like, if you something that, about that too. Body, it feels, I don't know, I just, I really like to move, usually. So, but. <laughs> Ladies, this is the most wonderful conversation. I'm loving all of this. Thank you for this. Yeah. I, Thank I, you. Was, uh, I remember ages ago, like coming home after big trips, and I used to take this ballet class yeah. really kind of religiously before access when my kids were. If I missed it, I was like, Sarah was talking about, like, oh, I missed it. I'm terrible. And um, I started asking my body, do you want to go? Mm. And sometimes I'd be like, we have to go. And it would be like, no. And I'm like, oh. I would be like, oh. but, but, and then something so cool would happen. Like someone who hadn't seen me would do, I'd get a phone call during that time. Someone on the session, something would always show up that if I'd been in class, I couldn't have had it happen. Yeah. And then other times I was so tired. I'd, you know, been traveling into Europe and I'm like, there's no way, but okay. I'll ask, body, do you want to go? And it'd be like, yes. And I'm like, no, we can't. It's like, yes. Okay. Yeah, I know our body has got way more to contribute to us than what we have acknowledged. Yeah, we, and we, knows that you, we have to control it. And your body's like, hey, if we don't go to this ballet class, there's going to be another possibility that shows up. You're like, no, we must, you know, be <laughs> regimented. It was more like, yeah. it was, it was, I felt like I was so tired or I should be tired. I would go and it'd be the most energetic, fabulous. I won't say that was so fun now. That was awesome. Well, well like, you can say it's fun, but 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 notice if you've stopped asking a question, because that's what it was for yeah. me. I went, oh shit, I go, I come out of question. Because I'm in question, I'm in question, I'm in question. I go, it's so much fun. Keep going. Mm, just came out of question. And I'm asking, what would it take to be in question for every every second, every moment? I love day. that. That's what I, I would be not in question often. Yeah. yeah. That is so fun. This is a brilliant. That was brilliant. Thank you so much for sharing. You're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you, San Francisco um, pod. Hey, I've got to shoot off in a second because I actually have a network Cairo appointment for my beautiful, amazing body. Um, but let's do the, do if we do a quickie over in Illinois, we'll have a quickie with Illinois. Oh, quickie with Illinois. Yay. <laughs> um hi everyone hi simone um so you said something brilliant a second ago simone um you said we've been choosing uh conflict with our bodies uh pretty much our whole lifetime and i'm curious how that ties into uh, personalities and if you could speak a little bit about that well it it, it you create a personality in order to maintain conflict mm. and if you didn't have the personality to maintain conflict what would you choose? Who could you be? Oh. Notice how there's more like this melting of energy. It's, it's, oh. um, Did you feel that shift? I mean, there was this moment that, you know, last year when I was meant to go to Maestro and I couldn't because I was just end up in hospital. And if you don't know, I realize Australia to Italy is a very long way away, right? <laughs> and my body was like, uh uh, no, uh, -uh. We're, not flying. we're not flying, we're not flying, we're not flying, we're not flying, we're not going. And I was like, yes, we are, yes, we are, yes, we are. You know, I'm going, I'm going. And every day I was like, I want to go. And my body was like, are you kidding me? And I was talking to Gary and Dane and they were so patient with me. And I said, how the fuck do I choose? from being in communion, how do I choose? Because at that stage, if I had chosen to not go, 
I would have got cranky at my body. Mm. I would have been pissed off at my body, right? But if I chose to go, then my body would have been pissed off with me. And I don't think that would have ended up being very pretty at all. It would have not been great, okay? And I was like, okay, that's conflict. And that was such a true example of conflict for me. And it was after three days I kept asking and running processes of what would it be like to be in total communion with my body. I woke up one morning and I can hear the birds and I'm lying in bed and I went, oh, I'm not going to Italy. And it was just this peace and this calmness in my world. And I went, oh, that's what it's like to choose with my body and not against my body. So for me, that was such a great gift. And you'll find that for you in different situations. But just notice like previously, it was either my body was winning or I was winning. There's no winning. Like that's a personality. Wow. There's like this beautiful, amazing choice from being in communion. Thank you. There is winning parking places though, just to be clear. <laughs> that's so different, Sarah. And I, I agree. <laughs> I actually went to a restaurant last night with my brother and my niece and the restaurant we went to, we got the parking spot out the front and my brother goes, Oh, could you get a better parking spot? And I'm no, And I went, I know, go. And I was like, yeah, that's, you do get a thrill. It's a little personal thrill. <laughs> we call it the PPP. It's the perfect parking place, which I know won't translate, but yeah, it's a whole thing. But I realized it was like totally connected to this, like, yeah. personality of the beauty. American that doesn't walk anywhere <laughs> you realize that it was connected to something so that's what's absolutely beautiful okay I'm gonna jump off but I am so grateful for being here and all of you guys and it's it's honestly such a contribution to receive the energy of all of you running body processes because even though I am in Australia currently I can perceive that it's so friggin' beautiful so thank you for choosing that thank you for being you and I look forward to seeing some of you in Mexico or if not somewhere in this beautiful, amazing planet. Just have way too much fun with whatever you're choosing and don't judge you or your body. Okay. Muchas gracias. Mwah. If you enjoyed this podcast, please make sure to hit the follow or subscribe button on your favorite listing platform to get notified of new episodes. We read all the reviews, so if there's any topic you would like to hear about, let us know. If you'd like to know more about the tools, information and classes mentioned in the podcast, head on over to simonemillises.com and follow me on Instagram at simonemillises or the podcast has its very own link on Instagram at choice, change and action. Don't forget you can download the show notes and lastly, have way too much fun today. <laughs>